The submodel analysis allows user to inspect the region of the model using a refined mesh size while managing the computational resources efficiently. To perform a submodel analysis, you need to have a global analysis of the entire model first, which provides some indication of how the design responses to applied forces. Based on results, you can select a specific region to perform a second simulation for a smaller mesh size on the model. This could increase the accuracy of your results in the submodel region. In this demo, we'll use a drive shaft assembly. It has a hollow shaft, a gear, a solid support shaft, and a bearing that couples the shafts together. The hollow shaft and the gear can rotate around the supporting shaft. There's also a bearing stopper and a distance washer at the gear end of the drive shaft. When apply a rotational force to the gear, we are investigating the force transmitted between the gear and the supporting shaft. So we will do some model analysis on the gear end of the assembly. Here we've created the global finite element model and analysis case. We've run the case. Here we can review the results. And we're zooming in to the region of our interest, which is where the force is being transmitted between the gear and the supporting shaft. We will then define the submodel using an abstraction shape. We can create the abstraction shape by copying the original model, and all the changes we make to this shape will not impact the source content. Make sure you're at Model Assembly Design and right click the assembly, select Insert Representation, and create an abstraction shape. After renaming it, we'll then create the plane to slice the structure. We're creating a plane using an offset from the gear surface. We can create some model finite element model for the two parts that extend through the submodel boundaries, which is the plane that we just created. The two parts are the hollow shaft and the supporting shaft. Here we will select the user driven automated FM. And by right click the two shafts, we can select the submodel mesh type that we want to do. This procedure ensures continuity from the coarse mesh of the global FM to the finer mesh of the submodel FM. We can also edit the input of the submodel procedure, including the cutting surface, mesh size, etc. We will apply regular tap mesh to the rest of the parts. To create an analysis for this submodel, we go to Scenario and select Submodel Analysis in the action bar. Make sure to refer to the global analysis case we ran before. We then select the submodel FEM that we just created. We can set up the simulation case as what we did for the global analysis, including the simulation step, contact interactions, etc. To define the loads and restraints, make sure that the analysis context is set to submodel analysis. Here the submodel displacement feature transfers the displacement degrees of freedom from the global model to submodel along their shared boundaries. We are selecting the two cut surfaces and the static step 1. We can then apply loads and boundary conditions in the same way that we apply them in the global analysis.
Now we've completed the setup of the submodel analysis. We can run the simulation. Now we can view the results for our submodel analysis. We can also compare them with the global analysis results, which is on the left, and the submodel analysis results is on the right. The difference between them is not significant, likely because we did not choose to apply an extreme load. You can experiment with the results by using either higher loading conditions or by changing the mesh size specifications. This is how we set up the submodel analysis. Hope you find this video helpful.